I wanted to point out uh, this, this landform here, uh, and they're just everywhere. Um, notice, so the ice is, is coming this direction. Um, and this, this landform is a small example of, of what's called a, a, like a drumlin feature. So it's, it's smoothed off on the opposing side. The ice is dragging rocks, boulders, sand over the train and, and, and smoothing it down. And um, on this opposing face, uh, the pressure is the highest and you get um, the pressure melting point of ice uh, goes goes uh, down so you can melt ice at lower temperatures when it's under extreme pressure so what happens is the ice melts on the opposing face and then trickles around uh, through whatever voids to the 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 rear face of this notice how it's uh, steeper um, and that's because uh, the the water that's flowing around it then the 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 pressure is lower on the on the lee side here and and so the the ice the water can refreeze and pluck and and tear away any loose uh, rock from from that side um, and you see the same landform just just everywhere and and you see it at different scales at, at a uh, small scale here and you see it at the scale of of the mountains uh, so for example Ikarasak Peak over there is uh, steeper on the downstream side than the upstream side um, because of this uh, effect uh, so-called plucking uh, so uh, you know the the natural environment is like uh, a textbook that that we can read with a little bit of knowledge about glacial history.